Your Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Federal Republic of Somalia, I would like to thank His Majesty's government for organizing this important and timely event that brings the world stage the magnitude of food security challenges that continue to affect my country and other countries around the globe. The persistence of food insecurity is due to a variety of factors, including climate shocks, heavy reliance on increasingly expensive food imports, global disruption of supply chain, and weak infrastructure. In Somalia, we are ambitious in our goals and we are developing sound policy solutions across the multifaceted areas, beginning with peace and security. Since June 2022, Somali National Army has been able to partner with the local forces and the global partners in an unprecedented offensive that has recovered from more than 70 towns and villages from Al-Shabaab in the southern and the central federal member states of Somalia. These newly recovered areas are home to some of the richest farming lands in the country. The Somali government has started a stabilization program after the liberation, which has two important aims. One is to stabilize the situation and provide services to the people who has been lacking those services for more than a decade now. And the second is making the transition program as a bridge that moves the Somali people from the humanitarian situation to into a development situation. Two is the climate adaptive technology and infrastructure. According to a recent study by the African Development Bank, Somalia has the highest resource potential of any African nation for onshore wind power and could generate between 30 to 45,000 megawatts of wind power. We also have 300 days of sunshine annually. So the solar power is another major opportunity in Somalia. With sufficient financing, we can invest in climate resilient infrastructure in critical sectors such as the renewable energy, water catchment systems, regenerative agricultural practices, and feeder roads within the agricultural uh, land. Number three, the financial inclusion. Access to finance is a key, and we are also working on making affordable loans accessible to the agricultural sector to encourage further investment in the local production, allowing Somalia to access greater market from the Atlantic Ocean to the Indian Ocean. In conclusion, to mitigate the potential for a famine in Somalia, the international community, especially the United States, the United Kingdom, the European Union, and many more partners, among which is the United Arab Emirates, have provided a huge amount of resources to avert the famine in Somalia. As rightly His, High, His Excellency, the Prime Minister said, Somalia was on, on the brink of famine when we came to the office last year. And with these supporters and the organization my government did, we averted it. However, given the current climate changes, we know that without similar levels of investments that can keep agro-pastoral communities intact, health, and able to sustain themselves economically, we will continue to witness food insecurity and human suffering that entails for generations. The larger scale investment in energy system and transport infrastructure will require funds for multilateral and bilateral financing institutions, and Somalia has developed the necessary institutions to work with and the necessary leg legislations and actors to help However, at the current rates, African countries pay more than five times the interest rates than many other parts of the world. Handouts did not help and will not help in the, in the, in the, in the, in the future. Did not help in the past and will not help in the future. But financing at a fair rates and the economic uplifting of the people is what helps a lot. Finally, to be successful, we need a collective effort of governments, international organizations, and private sector to deliver for the most vulnerable societies, among which Somalia is one. Just ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. Thank
Thank you.